afford an artist pass so I could go to the zoo every week to draw, and force myself to draw to get better. At this point, I've been drawing for about six months every week. I've tried a bunch of different materials and only recently started with charcoal. I really like charcoal. I can see why people use it with live drawing. On this sunny winter day, I decided to draw the Watusi cows. They're right at the beginning of the zoo, so you usually just skip over them to get to the other stuff. But they're really interesting animals, and gigantic horns. I read on the sign that they have big horns because uh, the blood flows through them and it cools them down, because they're from Central Africa, so it's very hot where they live. They've got a lot of attitude as well. They've got sort of s floppy, wrinkly <laughs> bodies with lots of weight hanging off of them. So they're a good subject to draw, especially on a sunny day like that. Drawing animals in, in life rather than from a photograph is, complete, is completely different because when you're drawing from an animal from life, you're not drawing it quite the same way you draw a human standing still. The whole challenge is that they move. When you're drawing an animal from life, the first thing you have to do is just capture the attitude, kind of like the swish line or just an idea of what you want to, what you want to draw as an illustration, and then you use the animal in front of you as an anatomical reference to doing that drawing. So there's kind of a disconnect between the illustration and the animal, and that's really difficult. It's a lot different to drawing a still human being for 15 to minutes to an hour. You have to find the essence of the animal, and you also are forced to really get an understanding of the anatomy of that animal. I spent a lot of time at the artist zoo, especially when I was a kid. I used to get an artist pass every Christmas as a present, and in the summer I'd probably spend every, almost every day at the zoo, just observing the animals. I've always been very interested in animals. I wanted to, I wanted to be a zoologist when I was a kid and study reptiles. If I had to name my favorite animal to draw, it might be the Komodo dragon, just because I really love their attitude and I love reptiles. But it totally depends what medium you're working with. Charcoal is good for furry animals, because you can be quite abstract with it. While pen and ink is good for detailed animals like reptiles, because then you can get all the little scales and details in there. When you're working on toned paper, white highlights can really make a big difference. Even if it's just a bit of white in the eye, or maybe on the eyelid to make it a bit wetter, or the wetness of the nose. It's really easy to overdo it. You gotta be careful with that. Dark, not dark enough. I'll leave it at that for now. I'll do another thing.